Christian theistic approach is the most complete and useful way to think about ethics. First, what is the good life? In other words, where is my true happiness, fulfillment, and well-being to be found? Second, what is a good person? In other words, what would it mean for me to have true inner goodness, <coughs> rightness, virtuousness, character? Third, how can good lives and good persons be developed and maintained? This answers the first question about the good life this way. You are well off when you are in an interactive relationship with God and his kingdom. Contemporary views that cultures and individuals experiment with when they find Christian theism unattractive or too difficult, while they often seriously grapple with the three questions to varying <coughs> degrees, also, I believe, do not have the completeness and the usefulness of Christian theism. But the lesson I want to draw from this is not so much that the Bible offers faulty ethical teachings, though I do have to admit in my own judgment it often does, but something more philosophical, and that is that ethics is prior to religion in theory and practice. When considering how we should make choices in our everyday lives, the Christian theist presumably holds that our choices should conform to God's will. But between A, our deliberation, and C, the performance of an action that conforms to God's will, there is always B, a prior and more fundamental choice. Should we act in a way that conforms to God's will? Why should you not harm your neighbor just for the fun of it? Where he suggests that the Christian theist has an answer where her secular counterpart has run out of answers, and that answer, of course, was because you will eventually suffer for it, either here or the, in the hereafter. I think this claim is unsatisfying for a number of reasons. First, and perhaps most fundamentally, it does not seem like the right kind of answer to the question. If we are understanding the question to be about a moral should, so I still think that the Christian theist can offer both prudential and moral reasons, however the moral reasons are parsed, whether it's focused upon an afterlife, focused upon God's will or character. Well, the secular ethics um, a secular ethicist, I think, runs a little bit short on both. In the cases where one must decide whether to hurt one's neighbor, it will make me unhappy then is not the right kind of reason to refrain. The reason should be other regarding, and in the list of reasons for refraining, there will be many other regarding reasons that come before the self-regarding, it will make me unhappy. For example, it will make my neighbor unhappy. <laughs> uh, it is a deep violation of my neighbor's humanity and dignity. It will make his loved ones unhappy. It will undermine the safety and cohesiveness of my community. What I want to say is any of those reasons are better reasons than the self-regarding reason of my own happiness. 